got evolve you want people to go to the cinema and get covid because of a freaking movie let's keep it real it's about facing reality having to deal with what is happening and having to get with the change and get with the program but cinemas dying and going away not a chance so your boy chrissy boy says that um he's pissed off with hbo max and a freaking game changer of a move of them pretty much putting all of their movies on streaming so theater and streaming day and re- release which is crazy and this is major movies wonder woman freaking um tom and jerry dune craziness i think suicide squad as well and chris nolan so nolan is happy he's not happy let's let, let's see what, what your boy says and then we can then dissect it so, so in, in, in response to, of course, and the Matrix 4 as well. So it says, oh, I mean disbelief, especially the way in which they did. Are we talking about the decision? There's such controversy around it because they didn't tell anyone. In 2021, they've got some of the top filmmakers in the world. They've got some of the biggest stars in the world who worked for years in some cases on these projects very close to their hearts that are meant to be big screen experiences. They're meant to be out there for the wildest possible audiences. And now they're being used as a loss leader for the streaming service, for the fledgling streaming service without any consultation. Um, Says that, call the move very, very messy and a real bait and switch. So they deserve to be consulted and spoken to about what was going to happen to their work. Um, so he added that Warner Bros. had an incredible machine for getting a filmmaker's work out everywhere, both in theaters and in the home, and they're dismantling it as we speak. They don't even understand what they're losing. The decision makes no economic sense, and even the most casual Wall Street investor can see the difference between disruption and dysfunction. Um... So it's not the way to do business. It's not the best thing for the health of our industry. But when the theaters are back and people are going back to the movies, when the vaccine vaccine, has been rolled out and there's an appropriate health response from the federal government, I'm very bullish in the long-term prospects of the industry. People love going to the movies and they're going to get to go again. <sighs> All right. Okay, let's, let's, let's break this down. Um... First off, we don't know how effective the vaccine is going to be. We have to wait for that. Hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, it's effective. But we don't know. Do not know how long this pandemic is going to last? But I don't think Nolan knows what's happening. Because this is just about the pandemic. This is not just about the pandemic. Spoke to my friend, huge film guy, massive film guy. And he said, bro, I just signed up to HBO Max. How do Netflix get all their money to invest into film after film after film? Because of the sheer amount of people who have Netflix. Real money as subscribers. Because that is just money every month. So every single month, that's hundreds upon hundreds of thousands. Possibly even more. $10 here, $10 there, $10, $10, $10. $10 each for how many people? So for each, what they've said is this provides an opportunity. Because... Home cinemas are becoming much more involved right now. This is now much more of a tech age. It's not the 80s or the 90s or the 2000s right now. Broadband is now a thing. And there were points where, I think someone said that, where 
instant access will be like having food and water. So instant access will not actually be a right, where pretty much everybody, anybody on the planet will have access to the internet. So streaming is here to stay. And if there's like another advanced support in broadband, oh, boom, where internet is just like, boom, zip. For AGP and Max, they're saying that, first of all, we deal with this whole pandemic thing where we lost money on tenants. They lost money. Because people aren't going to risk getting COVID for a freaking movie. 99% of people don't go to the cinema because they really want to watch the film. They go to the cinema because, yeah, I like to watch the film, but I'm going on a date. I want something to do. It's an activity. I've got some free time. Let's do something with some friends. It's an activity. Hence why I'll tell you why cinemas can never go away. But they're not going there specifically for a film. So once there's now a pandemic and there's now a virus, I'm like, heck no, I'm not because I don't I don't care about the film that much. And I think what Nolan Fana was like, I don't care whether you've done Dark Knights or Inception or anything. People aren't risking COVID to go and see your film. You see, I went because I'm a cinephile. I love films. And I wasn't really going because it's John David Washington that's trying to support the Denzel, but I am of the 0.1% who I go and watch art films in the same cinema. When a film goes out, I try to go to the cinema to, to watch it. That's just me. But I, I'm, I'm the minority. The 99% don't view films the way I do. So it's just so, so those guys, you're offering them the chance of where you can go to the theater, you can watch this film in your home, with your TV, your surround sound, safety of your crib, boom. Because the thing now is this, and this way it gets interesting. Let's just say hopefully, hopefully, by February, March, the vaccine is out. People are vaccinated and we're now really, places are now beginning to open up. Do Warner Brothers change their stance? No, <laughs> they don't. Because once they see the amount of people who've signed up, they're like, uh, because it's about making money, it's about making cash. Hence, it's the same thing that those Xbox guys are doing with, um, whatchamacallit, the Xbox guys are doing with um, Game Pass. The smart money, okay, you can make the money with the big release, you know, 500, 800 million. The smart money is consistent monthly income. So every month we get this income because these are guys who are subscribed and they're locked in. <laughs> For fifteen dollars a month, I can watch these films as many times as I want. These major films in my home in full HD. I don't have to deal with noisy kids, noisy people, annoying people around. I can chill. I can press pause. See, now the key thing is: Are they going to do what Disney Plus did, where Disney Plus was like they released Mulan, but then oh no 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 no. You actually have to pay extra for Mulan. Freaking pirates. So, Chris, you, I'm sorry, like, because Netflix and Amazon were the first to say things are changing. Things are changing. I just, I, I just, I just saw Mank. I just saw Mank. <laughs> you know? Things are changing. The landscape is changing. So... Is what it is now. Cinemas, cinemas will cinemas will never go away. They'll never go away. Once things open up, and so forth. Who wants to stay in their house all day? <laughs> it's like the ninety nine percent don't go to the cinema to watch the film. They go there as an activity, the same as bowling, the same as going to the restaurant. Most times when I go to the cinema, people aren't even watching the freaking film. But it's just the aspects of going out. 
if you're going on a date or if let's say you're with your wife or, or something you don't go out in your home <laughs> you go out so restaurants club the bar theater cinema it's what you do you know so from that aspect and also everyone likes films now people like films more than others like me but generally people like films most people in the world like superhero movies they just do or action films that sci-fi th- maybe a bit but every woman in the world likes a romance film so that's just a fact and most people like the big budget action superhero films so since some of us will never go away once things open up they'll be there but it'll be interesting to see how much this harms cinemas and it'll be interesting to see how many people because it's, 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 it's going to harm them but it's not going to take them away completely but it's going to harm them because a lot of people will say ah, let's just watch watch the yeah, come, come over the, the crib let's just watch it here in HD <laughs> HD huge TV got a surround sound let's chill come, come over let's chill you know but for Christmas I think You've got to get to your head out, out of your ass and you just got to accept where we are right where we are right now is a pandemic that's the first thing and we're still in the pandemic right now so the move needs, needs to be made because i saw someone on twitter say oh why didn't you just wait and just release it when when um things open up there's a thing called a schedule and these schedules go from 2020 to 2021 all the way onwards. So how long do you keep a film for? How much for how long do you want it do you want to hold it back? <laughs> you know. But even beyond that, the amount the response people had to this and the amount of people who are going to sign up Matrix 4 in your crib Brah, brah. But see, for me, if things opened up, I ain't watching Matrix 4 for the first time at home. I'm going to the cinema. I ain't watching Dune. I'm going to the cinema. But I'm the I'm the 1% <laughs> who's a cinephile. That I have to see those films in the context of the cinema. But the 99% don't give a damn. They're like, uh, Matrix 4 either on my HD TV or having to trek somewhere to a cinema. Hell no. Sting in the crib. So yeah man, um so, <sighs> it's gonna be interesting to see how how, how this unfolds. It'll be interesting to see how this all unfolds on board. I think Chris Nolan you just have to accept. You have to say that this is a new landscape, this is a new wave this is a whole new school it's a whole it's a whole new ball game <laughs> and maybe this is just the tip of the iceberg of the way films will not get released in the future this is the game because the clincher to this is i want to know how many people have signed up because once one of see the amount of people that have signed up they're like chris okay do what you want we've got cake and probably over these 12 months, we would have, have probably made more money than we've probably made in a long time over a year. <laughs> because I can only imagine the amount of people who've signed up for this. And the fact is this, if you don't have HBO Max, we still get your, your money, if you can still watch in the theater, so we still get some of that theater money. So if Tenet, came out on HBO Max. So they'll get my cash and other people's cash who want to go to the theater and watch it. But the bulk of their cake are from those subscribers who've watched it at the crib. They watch it at the crib, oh, say, man, this is, this is great. I can watch it again. You'll, you'll stay subscribed. See, I unsubscribed from Disney Plus because I'm like, 
all right mandalorian is, is coming to a close um i'm going to finish the x-men cartoon i'll probably watch the spider-man cartoon again watch a few of the of the old disney cartoons and that's it disney plus not really giving me any value for my money so i'm like this is a waste now if hbo it's just a there's no uk offering for hbo max if there was a uk offering for hbo max i'll strongly consider and this is me, the, the cinephile, I'd strongly consider. You know, and see, Chris, you've, you've got to understand this. And this is what, I think this is where, where Chris is lost. Chris, you're, you're, you're like me. We are cinephiles and really into film, and we see the appreciation of going to the cinema. But Chris, we're not the 99%. The 99% are the people that want to are into now. Is it Anapona or the artist studios? They're for the 1%. So they'll make the $10 million, $5 million film for the 1% of filmmakers. But the Warner Brothers and so forth, the big studios, they're going for the 99%. Oh, the 1% as well, but they focus on the 90% the common man who isn't into, who's not a film guy or a cinephile. And for those guys who are like, this streaming thing? So, I mean, basically, because Wonder Woman comes out, was I think December 25th or, so, or something? 2021, bruh. Because I'm going to be paying very close attention to how this whole thing goes down. Guys, tell me what, what you think. Do you think... HBO Max are right. Do you think they are they are wrong? And um, what do you think about Chris Nolan's views on this? Tell me in the comments below. Like that vid, subscribe. Peace out. Stay true. One. Thanks for watching the vid, and don't forget to head to the official website for extra cool content at halfhophot.com.